Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show you the best, what I think is the best, stealth loadouts you can get in Payday 2. I'm obviously very high level and played this thing for, uh, well, quite some time. I don't actually have that many weapon slots unlocked yet, but that's what I'm working on because I enjoy guns. At least in this game I do. Um, Alright, for stealth loadout, right now, if you have all the DLC, which I do, you need the Car 4 rifle because if you hear, most people would want to get the stealth barrel, which is good if you don't have a short barrel. Because, but if you look at concealment value, whoops, brilliant. <laughs> if you look at the concealment value, this is actually not as good with stealth as the short barrel is. So, if you also have the low profile suppressor, which does not affect concealability, then you'll end up with more conceal concealability, which is the most important factor of stealth, at least in my opinion. Because concealability is, is how quickly they react to your presence, both in casing mode and otherwise. Uh, aftermarket special is a, a need because, you know, adds concealment. Basically, I guess you can call this most concealable uh, loadout. Uh, with grips, I have the air grip because I haven't found a straight grip yet. I'd kill for one right now, but you got to be lucky with the, with that uh, payday card flip. Um, but that this is a gauge weapon pack item, of course, five dollar DLC, all that. It was on sale during winter, I think. Uh, notice that my technomist right now is three, and I don't have any ghost perk except for the like uh, the one that bags bodies, etc. I do not have chameleon. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, it, straight grip would add two concealment, which makes this total concealment would be 29, which the max you would really get is 30, but on this gun and all primaries, I've only been able to get the car 4 to 29, technically, if you include the straight grip, which I don't have. Magazine, you're going to need vintage, which is fairly common. I've gotten plenty of these before. Um, I used to want to make my AR, whatever it is, the best uh, American assault rifle in this game to be stealthy, but I'd have figured, nah, it doesn't really, it's not really worth it. You're better off doing the car 4. Um, obviously, it shortens the magazine by a lot. Uh, concealment, that adds to concealment. Don't put any sights on a weapon like this. If they added, like, a, uh, what are they called? Marksman sights with the little neon, excuse me, neon colors on them, then you would be able, if you equip that, and it would add plus one concealment because they're smaller than what the um, gun already has, which, as you can see, are pretty standard uh, assault rifle sights, they, it would, it would be more concealable and it would reach 30, which is the max, and then I'd probably have a 2 detection risk, which isn't a big difference, but I mean, it is really cool to have uh, a low one, because then you can basically uh, creep past people, be able, we're being somewhat close to them. A folding stock, again, is a necessary thing, uh, don't put a tactical stock, if you don't have folding stock, then just don't put any stock on it. It'll look like this, right here, this is just like the standard stock. I don't see how it's any different from tactical, because it has the same stats, technically, or with other rifles it does. Exotique is just, it's just more of a doodad that I like to put on mine, because I, I got enough of them to put on my assault rifles, and they add stability and damage. Stability and accuracy are two of the most important things with any stealth weapon. Now, if you want to be, I don't always prefer concealability, I like bringing the Gruber Kurs pistol. I think it's how you pronounce that, Kurs. Gruber Kurs. Um, you preview it right here. I have a laser grip on it, which took me forever to find. I have the size doesn't matter, which because it doesn't affect concealability. You can put a gadget on it without taking away any concealability. You can put a second laser, which I think I don't think it really has any effect on it, honestly. A uh, flashlight I think draws attention to you. I don't know if it alerts them or not, so I didn't want to risk it and put it on there. I might experiment with that later. Don't put the long slide on it. I know it's tempting. I wish they'd add a second slide that's like a vented slide or something that doesn't affect concealment. But it's already at 30 concealability, as you can see with the stats. But for some reason, this one also says 30, right here. And it, for some reason, when, look, when I equip the group of crews, it goes 6. But this weapon, which is technically bigger, right here, if you look at it, I built it with all the most concealable parts, it's technically bigger, but somehow more concealable. That's bugging me a lot. I don't really get that, but okay. Uh, it's more concealable, for some reason. If you, you look at here, you get the, it's basically a grease gun. World War Two, I think. World War One or Two had that. Uh, I have a second one of these. You might have noticed by looking up on the thing. I don't know if I scrolled up or not. But I'm putting the more combat effective ones on that gun. This one has the low profile suppressor, the grease barrel, the grease barrel. Don't. I'm not going to put a gadget on this one until I get another tactical laser module because it's just so inaccurate in its current state. And also ergo group because it doesn't affect concealment. Basically, what, if, since this adds accuracy and, st accuracy and stability, which are two of the most important actual effective stats of a concealment weapon, uh, that's usually good to have that. Bling grip, I'm going to put on the other one, because it makes sense to put on a combat weapon. Extended mag, don't put that on a stealth weapon. 
Sight, don't put that on a stealth weapon. Stock, of course you want to put folding stock on there, which doesn't make any sense to me, because you shouldn't need to be able to fold it out, and it wouldn't really have any effect on it in the game, but, oh well, that's more nitpicky than anything else. I can't really complain because, I mean, look at it, it's still six concealment, and I don't, you don't really care much. All I care about is being near invisible. It's awesome. Swedish body, and I think, I'm pretty sure Swedish body, I haven't seen it before because I never got one, has something of a greenish tint, because if you look at the Swedish barrel, it has sort of a more greenish tint, or more of a lighter tint than the rest of the body, so I'm guessing that's what that has. And you can build other weapons to be somewhat stealthy, but it's best to have one preferred stealth loadout. When it comes to maps that have a bit of distance on them, I like to bring the Gruber Curs because even if things go loud, it's still a decent, pretty accurate pistol. If you don't have the DLC, I almost forgot to go over that. If you don't have the DLC, I used to have a Bernetti, which basically had the exact same thing as the Gruber Curs. I can illustrate it for you with imagination. <laughs> okay, what you need to do with if you have a Bernetti and not you so because you don't have the DLC, or you just don't want to get the Gerber Curse for some reason. Um, I mean, you can't get a laser sight, I'm pretty sure. And I think they might have changed it where now now the laser sight doesn't take up any concealment on uh, the Bernetti or most other handguns now, which would be great. I mean, you can add it, but I'm not sure because I haven't used it in a while since they updated it. Um, I remember with the Bernetti, there is a ergo grip you can put on it. Uh, I did that. There's a marksman sight you can put on it. We always do that. Marksman sights help you aim, and that's very important with a stealth weapon. Uh, of course, size doesn't matter is the most important suppressor for a concealment weapon when it comes to small weapons. And uh, that, that's pretty much how you build a Bernetti. Just do anything that doesn't decrease concealment and do things that add it. It's, that's all that really matters with stealth weapons to me. Um, if, you really, if you're going for like uh, more for support stealth, it basically means that you, you yourself are easily spotted because of your high concealment value. However, you have weapons that are very deadly and silenced. That's, why, that's where the big silencers come in, like monolith and bigger, bigger is better. Like, for example, if you wanted to build a stealth rifle for the M308, you'd put bigger is better. I don't, I don't think these really matter. I really don't like these because it limits what you can do with it. As well as, look, how does why does single fire lower stability? I mean, I, I like increased accuracy, but it doesn't make any sense to lower stability. It should be more stable because you're firing one shot at a time. But whatever, that's that's something else. I'll let Overkill Studios handle that. Um, Tactical laser sights, probably laser module, not laser sight. Laser module would be the best choice for any kind of primary rifle if you have the perk. Basically, laser sight's good if you don't have the technician perk to aim down sights while down because then you can use that and help you aim while down. I put the Avkoff sight on mine. The Avkoff optic, it's the new one you got for join the community and all that. It's a very nice sight, very good magnification. It's just like the middle spec to me. I've never used the middle spec. But I've seen other people use it in YouTube videos, and it looks about pretty similar. I think the mil spec might have more magnification. Uh, Seymour sight's better for close range weapons. Uh, this is also a good choice if you can't find, a, if you don't have an ACOF, or you don't have one of these two. This one has a decent zoom too. I prefer this for my mid range, uh, to mid to long range rifle, the AMR 16, I think it's called. And professional choice is a good second for all longer range weapons. And then if you want to make it a, a sort of a more concealable rifle, pick Abraham. Um, I finally got one of these just not too long ago. It's a, it, I like the way it looks best. I like it better than the way Jaeger looks, only because it looks more Spec Ops style. It looks good this way. I have mine built for loud, obviously, but I don't use it in a loud mission like Watchdog or something. Uh, those are fun. Also, in occasionally an armored assault heist, but I kind of prefer having a good mid range for armored assault. This weapon can be used to long range as well, but. This, this video is more off for the stealth loadouts. Um, I need to mention, this gun, surprisingly, is one of the better concealment ones. Because right now, it's, a, it's equally concealable to the CAR-4, because I don't have a straight grip on the CAR-4 yet. Once I do, the CAR-4 will be more concealable. But for this, I use this and the Brunetti for the longest time. Because there's only two mods on it, which makes it easier to get a hold of, sort of. I guess it took me a little while to find the barrel modification, but basically... It, it's so concealable with it on there. You might as well just bring that with you. Just make sure you don't use it because then it'll alert everybody. Being it's not a shotgun, you know, not exactly the best, uh, you know, <laughs> conceal the most most quiet weapon on the planet. Uh, a lot of people I noticed carry the, the Silence Desert Eagle, thinking that's a good stealth weapon. Not really, not in the slightest. They put things like the long barrel on it, which can have a silencer with it, but not a barrel extension that does damage. I prefer for just put the overkill on it because it makes it so deadly. 
just just so powerful that you don't need to worry about anything else. For a for just a very short time, maybe a week, I had the monolith on this thing as long as, long as the long, bar long barrel. Then I realized that it had such a low concealment value, it wasn't really worth it. So I built this thing for damage, and it's much better that way. I can't. I use this when you're just starting out. I picked the cross kill and put a uh, standard issue silencer because I didn't have anything else. That's a good one to start out with because it's semi-concealable. I think my concealment value right now is 27 for me. Yeah, it is 27. You can mod it out for decent stealth ability. Um, and also, the shotgun. It can be built for decent stealth. Uh, it doesn't have the best, but if you're going for like uh, that second day on rats or something and you really want to charge through quickly while getting a head start before alerting all the gangsters to get the intel, uh, say you didn't get enough bags or something like an XP run, then this is a pretty decent choice if you build it right. I have mine built for damage, obviously. I put the mold and stock on it just because I, I had the, the uh, tactical one to increase stability, but I kind of missed the Payday 1 weapon, which had the mold and looking stock on it. Now I'm starting to go over all my weapons. Forget stuff, this is just all my weapons. Oh boy. That, that, that's, you know, I think it would be better if I showed you how I use these weapons, but I think I might post another video at some point showing that, obviously. But basically what I'm trying to put forward with the whole stealth idea of this video, I'm not going to edit out that other stuff just because I feel like it's information people need to know. <laughs> um, when it comes to stealth, concealability is key because... The slower they react to you, the easier it'll be to line up a shot and take them out, if, even if they're up close to you. And that can be the difference between success and failure um, in many scenarios, especially like nightclub, which is fun to try to stealth run because it's so tricky. It's good to have a ghost to pick the safes because drills are, you know, I don't have any drill perks. I'm a mastermind. What am I going to do? Uh, but I can, I can still, I stealth an overkill one before. I have, I haven't made it into a video of it, sadly, but I, I plan to at some point. My internet speed is a little crappy, so it'll take me forever to upload, but we shall see. Anyway, uh, stealth concealability is key. Uh, basically, what you need to do, some people don't understand this, they want to bring like the lightweight ballistic vest and stuff in case it goes loud. I understand that. I did that forever. But if a lot of times, that that's what throws you, that's what ruins the stealth for you. They notice you too quick for you to, un to react to and stuff like that. Or you couldn't sneak past someone that you needed to because they knew you were there because you're you know higher concealment value or higher detection risk higher concealment value is better uh higher detection risk is worse basically what i'm trying to say is concealment will help you win you don't need to worry about getting caught if you have enough concealment value forget about the lightweight ballistic vest bring the two-piece suit forget about your locomotive 12 gauge shotgun on framing frame bring a group of crews or even the swedish k i hate the swedish k Weapon wise, I, uh, at least this this build of it, the attack version's okay, but this build of it is really hard to use. So I usually just bring that and then my car four and then switch to the car four. But either way, uh, point is concealment is key. Don't you know you shouldn't plan on getting caught. That's the idea of stealth. Masks don't matter, but I have my of course my Halloween mask. I enjoy this one. My stealth mask. Haven't gotten the achievement yet. Plan on it. It's probably on framing frame because you can hit him in the back easier. Uh, character doesn't matter, you know, it's just, what I'm trying to say is, I've been held up with too many stealth situations where he gets thrown off by that one guy who brought something like the this vest because he thinks, oh, what if it goes loud? I mean, this vest, what if it goes loud? And then he does something stupid like walk too close to one of the skylights on framing frame and, or, yeah, and get caught. <sighs> Quit doing that. That's not going to help the team. That only hinders us. What you need to do is get someone who knows what they're doing. Even if you're brand new, find a team that's at least, at least, even if the guy is like level zero, he should at least know what he's doing. There's no level zero, I know. But he should at least know what he's doing. He's played the mission before, has experience. Like me, I, I've done these missions a thousand times. Starting out, I was the guy who'd, who'd bring this just in case it goes loud, and then the mission would get screwed up by me. Unless, of course, it had like a camera feed, in which case I had to stay next to that and help my team out that way, which worked. But... Uh, also, a jammer can help you out in many situations. Even if you don't have any perks, you can use it to delay, like someone's, someone just found a body and you place it quick enough, or someone's about to find it, place it quick enough, and they won't be able to call it in with a radio, or a camera won't see a dead body when you shoot a guy who's in way of a camera. Things like that. It'll help out, too. People aren't understanding this in the game, and I need to point this out. It's Concealment is key. I don't care if you want to use your more advanced weapons. We want to get the money. We want to get the experience. We want to succeed. That's all that matters. We are professionals. 
most of the time, except on certain jobs when civilians are just too much to handle, and we enjoy shooting them multiple times, and then dancing on the corpses and then making obscure references out of their bodies. I don't know. I'm not very good with the jokes. Jokey joke. Oh well, maybe I'll make another video some at some point about uh, loud loadouts. Uh, usually, I kind of prefer to mix mine up here and there, depending on the mission scenario. But other than that, you can look at my beautiful skills. Yeah, like I said, I don't have any. The presidents is an important skill because that way you can, you know, take things like ATM stuff and get more money for it, etc. Especially ATMs, twenty percent more is a big difference when there's more money involved. I don't have Chameleon, which if you have Chameleon. Just, it, just the first part. You don't need to ace it. That doesn't help you at all. But if you have Chameleon, I think there's another tier bonus on here. Yeah, this one right here. That, one of these tiers. That if you get up to here and to get this, just starting out, then you basically become invisible with the perfect loadout. With the Car 4, max concealability. Swedish K, maximum concealability. You'll be straight up invisible, almost. I mean, obviously, if you touch someone, it automatically alerts them. That's the way the game works. Touch someone, they're alerted. Meanwhile... If you, you can more easily slip past them if you have more concealment value. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. I'm sorry I dragged it on so long. I go off on rabbit trails when I speak because I am me, obviously. <laughs> All right, have a good day, everybody.